Welcome to Quarry Park. Granite in Quarry Park was first quarried in the mid to late 1800s. Granite from the quarry in the St. Cloud area have been used for construction all over the world. Evidence of past quarrying operations can be seen all over the park as spoils piles. Outdoor enthusiasts enjoy the park for swimming, hiking and biking, rock climbing, scuba diving, and trout fishing. Look, there goes one now. Many native and invasive species of plants are located in the park, including the prickly pear cactus. This is the most northerly distribution of the plant in Minnesota. But the park is most famous for its geology. Two types of granites exist in the park. St. Cloud granite with reddish pinkish potassium feldspar and reformatory granite with white plagioclase feldspar. Both granites are nearly 2 billion years old and found throughout the park. At Quarry 9, both granites can be seen where a fault separates them. This type of fault is a reverse fault, where the reformatory granite moves west to east over the St. Cloud granite. Here's a close-up of the fault, where the white reformatory granite is over the pink St. Cloud granite. Basalt, which is fine green and black in color, can be found at Quarry 13. The basalt is located on both the north and south shores. Basalt oozed up into the cracks of the St. Cloud granite. Geologists know this because fragments of granite can be found in the basalt. Mineral grains are smaller at the granite contacts, and small basalt dikes intrude the granite. Present on the basalt surfaces are glacial striations. Glaciers scoured their way over the basalt, leaving deep scratches. From this, geologists can tell glacial movement was from the northeast to the southwest. When exploring the park, have fun and be careful.